What's up, everybody? Scotty here. Got my Ride for a Reason custom cup that I'm rocking this morning with my coffee in it. Thanks to Chase Harrison, the cup guy, for for this this awesome cup. Totally unique to to me and for me. So thank you, Chase. So today. I just had to come on. I don't know how long this is going to even last. I don't even know. I know somewhat where this is going to go. Um, but I don't know exactly where this is going to go. It's just something that was on it was, it was on my heart and mind yesterday. As I was, and I couldn't, it was hard to go to sleep. I don't know why it hit me, but it did. So I'm going to talk about it today. What I want to talk about is is this culture that's been created where... We as men, women, humans are so dang easily offended or our feelings are hurt. Now, okay, there's a big difference between someone who's, who's had a injustice done to them, someone who's really had a, has been the victim of something. Hurt feelings and offended, granted, warranted. I get it. But it's this thing where we, all of a sudden we've, we've turned into these soft skins Soft skinned, thin skinned sissies that we can't we can't handle a joke or we can't handle um, a comment that doesn't isn't one hundred percent complimentary. And so one of the things I want to talk about was it, it, it. I realized that this section of the book this week was the uh, man up for future generations, and I guess this kind of does apply to this. But um, the, the thing I want to talk about was had to do more with faith and I'm not one that I'm going to shove something down somebody's throat I'm not going to I'm going to I will talk about it I will discuss it I will share it but I'm certainly not going to put you in handcuffs and try and make you believe what I believe that's your choice that's the beautiful thing about how we're created we're created with a mind to figure things out and to make a choice um but Here's, here's the thing that, that irritates me. When you have someone who gets offended because somebody else shares their faith with them. And it's just like, okay, wait a second. Let's, let's, take, a, let's take a step back and think about this. You have someone who is putting their neck out, who is risking um, disapproval, who is risking someone looking down on them, who is risking, who is risking looking goofy, to put it to, for lack of a better word, in order to share something with someone that they evidently care about and care for. I mean, if you, if let's just put what, let's put all of the thoughts about whether or not, um, you know, whether or not religion is real and whether it, just whether or not that even is is a fact. Let's just put that aside from all of this because, quite honestly, it really doesn't matter. When, when, when I'm talking about this piece, it does matter in the end, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't really matter for this piece. When you have someone that they believe deeply that there is a heaven and a hell, and they see you doing something that they believe, according to their faith and what they believe, would not lend you, would not allow you to get into heaven, but would send you to hell. Let's just talk about that for a second. If they didn't care about you, they wouldn't talk to you about it. But the, if they do care about you, and they do come up to you and say, I want to share something with you. To me, I would look at that and go, fair enough. That, that's, you care enough about me to actually risk me shutting you out, doing whatever, to share this with me. And I don't understand where people feel this is an insult, where people feel this is an affront to who they are. Maybe you're just not secure enough in what you believe yourself. Maybe you don't believe it for yourself. You believe it because your parents believed it. Um, I mean, let's, okay, let's, let's just talk about Merry Christmas. It, it's no different. You, somebody comes up to you and says, Merry Christmas, with a smile on their face and a handshake, and you get pissed. I tell you what, if somebody walked up to me and, with a smile and a handshake and said, Happy Hanukkah. I know nothing about that, but I would probably respond with, well, thank you and happy Hanukkah to you too. Because they were being kind. They were, they were extending an effort to 
either communicate, start a relationship, whatever that looks like, they were making an effort. So this piece where I where, where people and for me it's Merry Christmas. That's what it is for me. Um, and I will never I I will not apologize and I will not stop saying it because when I say that to someone, it's not me saying, I hope you're a Christian. If you're not, you're a heathen and you're going to hell. It's me saying, This is a great time of year. I'm in a great mood and I'm happy for what I believe in and what this type of year this time of year represents. I want to share my joy with you by saying Merry Christmas. That's what I'm saying. And, we get people who, who I just can't wrap my head around why they get offended with this. I don't care what religion it is or what holiday it is that, that people get so upset about when somebody gives them a well and a warm wish for the day. Blows my freaking mind. Um, but So let's, let's talk about this whole, this whole sharing your faith thing. And people are like, and, and, okay, so let we'll break this down a little bit even more. So you've got, let's say you, or let's say I am, I'm watching TV and I see in the news that there's a bridge out. Now they don't show anything, but they just say there's an um, Interstate 94 or Interstate 35W. There's a bridge out right before the University of Minnesota, and they don't show any pictures. They don't show anything to corroborate that. They just say there's a bridge out. And I say, oh, there's a bridge out. Now, I learned that Brenda is going to be traveling 35W and heading towards that bridge that's supposedly out. Now, do I wait for absolute uh, proof? Say, well, I can't, tell, I can't say anything to Brenda yet because I need 100% irrefutable, concrete Touch it myself. Proof that that's that that bridge, bridge is indeed out. Would I wait for that? No, I would. I would call Brenda right away and try to get a hold of her, her cell phone. Do whatever I could to get a hold of her to to warn her. Watch out, that bridge is out. I don't want anything to happen to you. I would at least hope I would do that. I would hope anybody. I would be calling all of my friends. I'd be doing a Facebook live saying, "Hey, any of my friends that are driving up 35W, this bridge is out. Be careful." Don't, don't, don't die. And really that's, so when you think about it, that's something I'm taking on faith, that this bridge is out. I'm, I'm responding to people that I care about. I'm talking to people that I care about to try and save them from having an accident and going, over, going off this bridge. I'm acting on faith, not acting on proof. So when, when you have someone that shares faith with you, Whatever that faith is, I don't care, whether it's Christianity, whether it's uh, the Jewish faith, whether it's whatever the faith is, when they share it with you, nine times out, now, can it be done incorrectly and judgmentally? Oh yeah, it sure can, trust me, I, I, I've had it done. And it's, there's nothing more irritating. So it can be done that way. But when it's done the right way, because somebody truly cares about you, loves you, wants the best for you, is acting on faith because they believe the bridge is out for you when it comes to faith, and they don't want you to crash and die. Why is that such an affront? Why is that such an insult to people? I just don't get, like I said, I don't care what faith it is. If somebody comes up to me and they're a Hare Krishna, and they come to me and they say, hey, man, I want to share something with you because I care about you and I love you. And if, they tr if I truly feel that they love me and they, they care about me, you know what? I'm gonna, I am a Christian. I'm strong in my faith. I'm strong in my beliefs. And I will not apologize for them. But I will sit down and I will listen to that person with respect. I don't have to agree with them. There's, we've lost this piece of, for whatever reason, we think if we don't agree with someone else, that there's, there's this lack of respect or that we can't get along. We can't, we, we can't be together. And, and quite honestly, it pisses me off. And that's really what the, the man up piece in this is. It's encourage, the man up piece is to encourage people to, to, to care for people, to be strong in who you are and why you are, but you don't put anybody else down for who they are. 
Now, if I believe some, and here's okay. So here's the thing: if 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 somebody in, is not sharing their faith, and again, it doesn't matter what faith you believe in, but if you're not sharing that faith, because you look at most of the religions and most of the faiths, they all have a piece of um, this piece of salvation type of thing. Doing you have to do something to get something. If you're not sharing your faith, I'll challenge you in this. I'll challenge it this way. Do you really believe? Do you real? Are you really convicted in what you believe? Because if you were, if if you were truly convicted in, as a Christian, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that because I am one and I know that. If you are truly convicted as a Christian that that if I don't talk to you and I don't share the good news with you, share salvation through Christ with you, that you will go to hell. If that, if I truly believe that, why wouldn't I share it? You know, I wouldn't share it. I wouldn't share it if I doubted it. I wouldn't share it if I wasn't sure myself. That's, so when I, when I have someone who shares with me, don't care what the religion is, what the faith is, but when they share that with me, that tells me they're strong in their faith, they're strong in their convictions. Don't have to agree with it. I don't have to buy into it myself. And I may share my counterpoint of view with them. But it's not such a bad thing. And it's, people need to quit worrying about being so damn politically correct, so damn thin-skinned, and so easily offended and hurt. You know why people get easily offended and hurt? Because it's all about themselves. And that's the other piece of this, and then hold this whole piece of man up, is it's not about me. It's not about myself. It's about other people. And manning up is putting other people in front of yourself. Putting your family, your, your wife, your kids. Putting other things first. Not that you forget about yourself. You take care of yourself. You take care of your stuff after everybody else's stuff is taken care of. That's what it is. So, sorry guys, I had to, I just, I don't know why. That was on my mind today, and that was something that I was thinking about. So, um, if you don't agree, comment below. I'd love to hear why. And I love it, I love a chance for, for discussion, for, for adult discussion on this type of topic. I will not engage childish discussion, um, or ranting just for the sake to rant or putting somebody down because of what they what they believe I will not tolerate that if you want to put that on the page then I'll delete it won't even engage it but those who would like to discuss it I, I love I love a good respectful debate I really don't know if there's anything to debate on this topic though because um, it's just kind of common sense to me so if you don't feel that's common sense let me know <laughs> All right, guys, y'all take care. Have a good rest of the day.